Hello. So I'm going to try and um, be brief with this one. Um, because last week I talked about some of the Batman films I hadn't discussed earlier. Um, or of before. I'm uh, going to just discuss a little bit about uh, Robert Pattinson being chosen as Batman. Now, obviously, like I, I like many, were surprised by this decision. Um, for a while, he was in talks. He was in talks. Nothing confirmed. And then he got the part of Batman. And, um, I don't know. I've never seen Twilight. Um, I know uh, people aren't fond of those films. Um, or, or at least, like, the the overall opinion by the masses is they're not good. But I haven't seen those, so I can't say if they're good or not. Um, I did see him in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and that's it. Um, he's done some independent work um, where he, he said he's uh, he was uh, where, where he's it said he's very good. Um, he's very good in those films. Like his acting is great, um, and that uh, you know his uh, you know people should attempt to look past his uh, Twilight days and just look at his acting in his, these other films. Um, and so with um, him getting praise like this outside of that franchise. So that's uh, uh, to me. That's a good sign. It's a good sign that he's you know good. And other stuff outside of these fran, instead of just being known for this franchise, and um. You know, I definitely do think it's he's really. He could be good if he. Uh, if he has good material to work with, um. Uh, that's always important too. Just you know sometimes no matter how good an actor, is with material that's not good or is very lackluster. Uh, sometimes they prevail and are really good, or sometimes they just they fail. Like, you know, material not be, might not be good enough, and you try to do your best, but it's just not good. There's like very little to nothing one can do, but you just do what you can and hope for the best. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, and he's scared, and, and Pattinson is going to be in Christopher Nolan's new film, Tenant, which comes out next year. Um, next July, in fact. Currently filming right now, so that's cool. I I definitely want to... I'm definitely going to see that. Um, I'm a Nolan fan, as you, people, I'm sure, who watch me know this already. I've praised his films before, particularly the Dark Knight trilogy, um, you know, in, in those films, Christian Bell had good material to work with, you know, great material even, if you want to, I would say that, but, you know, um, but overall, people might say he had good material to work with for being his portrayal of Batman and Bruce Wayne, uh, Michael Keaton had, some, had good material to work with, um, Adam West did. Um, Val Kilmer, eh, he was okay, but he was nothing special in terms of his performance. Um, uh, George Clooney, I don't, you know, he, I talk about how I'm not fond of that film. And I'm not fond of his performance, uh, though, you know, the material wasn't that great. Um, mm. It's not good at all. I don't believe. Um, if you like it, that's fine. Um, but I'm someone who is not fond of that film. But then again, sometimes with what the material you're given, you don't necessarily have much to go with, go with. And um, I, I uh, yeah. 
Ben Affleck, uh, I think he did a good job as Batman Bruce Wayne. Um, initially, I was sort of hesitant. Um, or like surprised or whatever. I'm like, I don't know what to really think. And, you know, hope for the best. I was sort of conflicted at times. But all, all overall, I was like, you know, I hope he does a good job. Because he is a, he's a pretty fine actor. Um, you know, when given the right material, he's good. He could have had a lot of a lot better material. Should have had a lot better material for his the outing as Batman. Because it seems like he's out now. He's no longer going to be Batman. Because um, this film Pattinson is in, he was supposed to be Batman, but now he's not going to be. And um, I don't know stuff with the studio, and it's just. Just unfortunate that he went from writing a script and then directing and producing it, all the while also starring in the film, to then uh, and having the script rejected, and then him backing out of the director's chair, and then just going to be the actor and producer, and then to have that him being stepping down and being removed whatever and no longer part of the project at all so it's unfortunate for Affleck however with what's going on with his personal life uh, it's probably best he uh, gets himself together you know it's best that he takes the time he needs in order to get back out there and make more movies So yeah, uh, I hope Pattinson does a good job. You know, some are poking fun at him because of his Twilight days. But if he has the good material, and since I've heard he's good in other films, I might try to see a film or two of him or that he's in, and then see how he is. I've seen some clips and online from stuff he's been in. He's he's really good. Hmm. From what I've seen, um, but then again, you know, sometimes some films have good moments in them. I haven't seen the whole film, so I can't exactly say whether he's truly good, just based off of some clips I've seen. I mean, he is good, but you know, uh, like how good is he? You know, I haven't seen a film outside of. The Harry Potter film I've seen of him in, so uh, I'm reserving my judgment uh, for when he's Batman, as well as some of the other films he's he's gonna do, um, or he has done, and will do, like Tenet. So yeah, that's really it. Um, yeah, this video isn't all that long pretty happy about that so all I can say is see you all next time hope you all have a great day have a good weekend have a good week and yeah yeah see you next time <laughs>